I didn't know much about Yeti when reading through the main story, but when the World of Ice and Fire book came out, some fun lore was introduced to talk about. So this is probably going to be some brand new info for a lot of you guys who haven't checked out the world building book. The Golden Empire of Yeti is east of the Bone Mountains, south of the Great Sand Sea and the plains of the Jogos Nahai. It's north of the Jade Sea and west of the Shadowlands. This is a significant amount of land, but was even larger in the past. Thousands of years ago, this was a location of the Great Empire of the Dawn, a mythical place that the people of Yeti claim to be the first civilization, but they aren't the only ones to make this claim. They say the first ruler was someone called the God on Earth. A big claim to make, and they take it even further by believing he was the actual son of gods and ruled over the great empire of the dawn for 10,000 years before ascending to the stars to join the other gods. His descendants would rule for shorter and shorter periods of time. Seven generations later, the Amethyst Empress would have her rule taken from her by her own brother, the Bloodstone Emperor. This became known as the Blood Betrayal and he changed this empire for good. He was a cruel man who practiced darker forms of magic and has been blamed for bringing in the Long Night into the world. This is the time period where the White Walkers attacked 8,000 years ago, until the world was saved by the mythical figure Azor Ahai with his sword Lightbringer. While all these events seem connected, it's kind of been left up to the reader to decide, since the White Walkers are only mentioned in Westeros lore and not this far out east in Essos. It was after the Long Night was over when this region became known as the Golden Empire of Yeti. The rulers are called God Emperors, but the family in power and the capital city has constantly been changing and moving around. Yin, a port city, has commonly been the seat of God Emperors. Currently, the Azur Emperors rule, but others have recently been proclaiming themselves as God Emperors in the current story. In the northern city, Traitor Town, the Orange Emperor has risen in defiance against the Azur Emperor of Yin. In the west is Tiki, a region filled with hills where the Purple Emperors once ruled. Maroon Emperors once ruled in Jinki. They held their seat here to defend against invaders called the Shadow Men coming from the Shadowlands. In random locations around this world, there's a mysterious material called Black Stone that no one knows its origin. In the east, there are five huge ancient fortresses made from Black Stone called the Five Forts. They supposedly existed during the Great Empire of the Dawn to defend against demons. Each of them are a thousand feet high and can hold 10,000 people. They now are used to defend against attacks coming from the Great Waste. The rest of this region is green farmland with a massive rainforest rumored to have basilisks. Deep within the rainforest, there was a city called Sukho the Glorious that's now left in ruin and consumed by all the plant life. Sukho was once the capital ruled by the Scarlet Emperors. The island to the south is a very interesting place called Lang. It was once part of the Great Empire of the Dawn, but now it's a bit more complicated. Lang was always an isolated place that did not welcome outsiders, with a reputation of magic and demons. Sailing here would always end badly. Merchants from Yiti were finally able to get closer with the people of Lang, but at times would all be killed. Their deaths would be under the command of a group called the Old Ones, who reside in the ruins within the jungles of Lang. The Old Ones are supposedly gods, and any outsider who enters their deep labyrinths would disappear or return mad. But Yatish Conqueror long ago decided to seal all the entrances to the deep passages because of this, but it's believed the Old Ones are still down there. There are three named cities here. Lang Yi on the northern coast, Lang Ma in the center, and Tarani in the south. The persistent invasions from Yeti have caused all the Lingali to make the southern region their home, while the Yetish have taken over the rest of the island. They may be the majority here, but they are not ruled by Yeti. Instead, they have their own Lingali god empress. In the jungles here, there are tigers, monkeys, giant apes as large as giants, and some apes almost as intelligent as humans. The people of Lang are the tallest in this world, growing as tall as 7 or 8 feet. The Lingali and Yatish seem to be modeled after real-world Asians, judging by their facial characteristics. Great Morocco, the largest island on the map, was once conquered by a god emperor, but doesn't seem to be under the Golden Empire anymore. Outside Yatish's borders is a city named Carcosa. A sorcerer lord rules here, claiming to be a yellow god emperor of Yeti. Way out on the western border is the city Azabad, but there isn't anything written about it. Yeti has been having to deal with constant raids from the Jagos Nahai. They're very similar to the Dothraki, except they're on the opposite side of the Bone Mountains. They're a short group of nomadic people who attack others for resources and slaves. Unlike the Dothraki, they don't fight amongst themselves and usually run when faced with an attacking army. Even when the God Emperors do defeat them and force them to swear to end raiding, they return with their old antics. So that's the Golden Empire of Yeti. The mystery continent Sothros should have enough written about it to make one of these videos, so I'll be working on that one next. If there are any locations you want me to talk about, you can let me know in the comments. But odds are I've already done it. 
I'll leave a link to my map detailing of the Shadowlands on your screen right now that you can click or tap on if you haven't seen it. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys later.